Hey guys, so today I filmed a classic holiday makeup tutorial using all drugstore products. I didn't use any high end. I wanted to do this using all drugstore products because, I mean, for one, you can find really good quality makeup at the drugstore. Two, I know that's what a lot of people have. The eyeshadows that I used were from the Maybelline The Nudes palette, and then I used like a bronzer as an eyeshadow, which that's like my favorite thing to do, which you'll notice like more in my video. I like to get use out of different products, so you can get a lot of use out of different products if you use them in different ways. I love to do that. I think that it's a great way to save money. I think it's a great way to not have so much makeup. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stop rambling and let's get into the tutorial. So to start off, I'm gonna pull my hair back and I'm gonna moisturize my face with my favorite moisturizer. I'm gonna take this chapstick and just apply it to my lips. And starting off my brows, I'm gonna take this concealer and I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand and I'm gonna outline my brows. You can get this concealer at Walmart, it's only $5, and it works really, really well. It's really good at covering up blemishes or your little hairs around your brows, so I really recommend this concealer. I'm just going to blend it out with a brush from Target. Next, I'm going to take this clear brow gel, and I'm just going to apply it to my brows. Then I'm going to brush through my brows with a spoolie, and I'm going to take this Milani Brow Fix Kit, and I'm going to take the light powder, and I'm going to fill my brows in with this. I'm going to take this e.l.f. cream eyeliner, yes it's an eyeliner, but I'm going to use it for my brows and I like to just outline the tops and bottom of my brows. I also lightly like to fill in the rest of my brows with this product, but going lighter in the front. I'm going to take one of my favorite drugstore primers and I'm going to apply this to my face. So I'm going to be using a concealer to prime my eyes and I'm using this one from LA Girl and it works really well. It covers up all the veins in my eyes and it makes my eyeshadows last all day. I'm going to apply some tape to the sides of my eyes but I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand first so that it doesn't tug on my skin when I take it off. I'm going to use this bronzer by NYC and I'm going to use this as my transition shade and I'm just going to buff this into my crease. I'm not going to be very neat with this, I'm just going to apply it everywhere just to give the eyeshadow a nice blended look. I don't want this color to be super harsh so I'm just going to continue blending until it's nice and buffed out. I'm going to take this cream color by Wet n Wild and use it as my brow bone highlight. I'm going to go in with this dark matte shade from the Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm just going to apply this to the outer part of my eye and the inner part of my eye and slightly connecting it and buffing it all out. I want this look to be really blended so I'm just going to keep blending it. I'm going to slowly add the product so that it's not too harsh. If you add too much product at once, it's kind of hard to blend out. So I'm slowly just going to be dipping my brush in that color and applying more and more slowly. I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I'm going to apply this to the center of my lid so that when I apply the gold shadow it applies more vibrantly. I'm going to take this Mario Badescu Facial Rose Water, something like that, and I'm going to use this to intensify the gold color that I'm going to use from the nudes palette. I would normally use Fix Plus, but since this is a full face drugstore, I'm going to use that. After I apply that to the center of my lids, I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out the gold so there's no harsh lines. So here I'm going to be taking another single wet and wild eyeshadow and this one's just a regular black and I'm going to apply this to the outer corners and inner corners of my eye. I'm going to slowly do this because I don't want the black to be too harsh. After I add a little bit of color to my eyes, I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend everything out. I'm 
I took the tape off my eyes and now I'm going to take this clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the line. I don't want this line to be super harsh so that's why I do this. I'm going to take the bronzer that I used at the beginning and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. I'm also going to take the dark brown that I used and I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line as well. And I'm also going to take a little bit of the black and apply that to the outer part of my lower lash line. This next step is all about personal preference. If you don't feel comfortable doing a wing, you don't have to. I thought this look would look very nice with a wing, but like I said, you don't have to do one. I'm taking this liquid liner by NYC and I'm just applying a small wing. I don't like my wings to go out too far, I just don't think it looks good on me, but you can do your wing however you prefer. This is a really great eyeliner and it's only $3, so if you want to try an eyeliner, I suggest this one. I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to clean the sides of the wing so it's nice and crisp. When it comes to foundation, I like my face to look nice and natural. So I'm going to take this CoverGirl True Blend foundation and I'm going to apply way too much of it to the back of my hand. Then I'm going to dot it onto my face. I only apply a thin layer because I don't want it to look cakey. So I'm going to take this rose water and I'm going to spray it to my e.l.f. powder brush and I'm going to buff this into my skin. I have really dry skin so I feel like this stuff helps me a lot. I'm going to take one of my favorite concealers. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to brighten and conceal my dark circles with this. I'm going to take it under my eye. And I'm also going to take it on my chin, on the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. I'm going to use the same brush that I used earlier for the concealer around my eyebrows. And I'm just going to blend the concealer into my skin. This concealer is great for highlighting and also has a really nice coverage. It's a really creamy consistency, so it's really easy to blend out. I'm going to blend out the edges of the concealer with my foundation brush so there's no harsh lines. To set my under eye concealer, I'm going to take this HD Under Eye Setting Powder by e.l.f. And then I'm also going to take this powder by Wet n Wild and I'm going to set everywhere where I put the concealer. I really like the e.l.f. powder because it brightens my under eye. I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me powder that's a few shades darker than my skin tone and I'm going to take this on an e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm going to contour. I'm going to start right by my ear and I'm going to work my way down and I'm going to buff up in circular motions. I want my contour to be defined but I don't want it to be harsh so I want it to be nice and blended so I'm going to keep buffing in circular motions up so that it doesn't look muddy. I'm also going to take my contour powder up on my forehead and on my jawline. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of the powder on my nose just to give my nose a little bit more definition. I'm going to take my favorite blush, this is the NYX Blush in Cinnamon, and I'm going to apply this to the top of my contour just to warm up my face a little bit. I'm going to take this bright ass pink blush and I'm going to apply this to the apples in my cheeks. I'm going to take this NYX pigment and I'm going to apply this to the top of my cheekbones for a nice glowy highlight. I've really been obsessed with using pigments as highlights lately. I just feel like it gives your skin a nice sheen. I'm going to take this powder brush and I'm just going to tap it on my face so that there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to go back in with the dark powder and I'm just going to deepen up my contour just a little bit. I'm going to take one of my favorite mascaras, this is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme, and I'm going to apply a thin layer of this to my lashes to apply for my falsies. I'm using the Ardell Double Ups, and I'm using my Duo Dark Tone Glue. While I'm waiting for the glue on my lashes to get tacky, I'm going to go in with the dark brown that I used earlier, and I'm just going to buff that to my lower lash line. Then I'm also going to take the same pigment I used to highlight my cheekbones and I'm going to apply that as my inner corner highlight. I'm going to apply my falsies. I'm going to stick the band in the middle 
And then I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to connect the outer corner and the inner corner. The band on these lashes is a little thick, so you have to kind of work with them a little bit more than lashes with a thin band. Then I'm just going to take my eyeliner and just going to touch up any of the liner that may have gotten a little rubbed off while I was putting my false lashes on. Now I'm going to just put some black eyeliner in my waterline. To finish this look, I thought I'd go with the bright red lip, so I'm going to take this red lip liner by NYX and I'm just going to line my lips. I'm going to be using this red wet in the wild lipstick this one's called stoplight red and I'm just going to be filling in the rest of my lips with this lipstick I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you got some use out of it and that you try and do something like this for the holidays. I feel like this look is super simple. Anyone can do it, it's not too much. All the people who've asked me to do videos, I will be doing those. Obviously I'm making these videos to help people, so if you have a suggestion or something that you'd like to see, just let me know and I'll do it. So yeah, thank you to everyone who's watched my videos. I hope to help other people. That's pretty much why I started my channel. I'm just gonna stop talking because I talk way too much. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope my videos are getting better and that they're enjoyable to watch. I know that I'm not like the most interesting person in the world, but I feel like I'm not boring. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I want to back up now. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, I didn't even see myself. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna start over. Beep. What? No. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys.